Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this video, I'm going to teach you the numbers. The numbers which stands for die Zahlen. Die Zahlen. So let's get started. Null. Null. That stands for zero. For one. Eins. Eins. That's for one. Eins. Two, zwei, zwei, drei, drei, three, four, vier, vier, that stands for four, fünf, fünf, stands for five, sechs, sechs, that means six, sieben, Sieben, that's seven. Eight, acht, acht, that's eight. Neun, neun, nein. Zehn, zehn, that stands for ten. If I say in uh, German eleven, that stands for elf, elf. For twelve, zwölf, zwölf. Thirteen. 13, 13. As you have noticed here, 3, that stands for 3. And if I want to say 13, I would start with the digit 3, same like in uh, English, 13, that would be 13. So what if I say 14, 4, that stands for 4, 4, 10, that would be 14, just like in English. And for 15, 15, 15, 16, if I'd say 16, here we have 6 for 6, but if I say 16, then I have to drop the S and instead I'd say 16, 16. But here also 7, 7 is 7. But if I mention the number 17, then I'll drop the an and instead 17. 17, that's for 17. For 18, 18. 18, that stands for 18. If I want to say 19, that would be 19. 19. 20, 20. 20, but also the accent for 20 is also correct. So if you say 20 or 20, that's up to you. Okay, 20. Uh, till here, I would recommend you to repeat this if you want. Let's repeat this. Okay, so 0, 0, 1, 1. Zwei, zwei, drei, drei, vier, vier, fünf, fünf, sechs, sechs, sieben, sieben, acht, acht, neun, neun, zehn, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. Okay, till 20, I'm uh, sure that this is clear, but the, after this, there is an uh, interesting thing in German. That is, if I want to say 21, that's in German that I need to start with the first digit, which is the one, and then I'll put 
20, but in between I add the word UND, which stands for AND in English, okay? So, if I want to say 21, in German that would sound like 1 and 20. Yeah, I know that sounds to be weird, but this is the case in German, there's nothing to do. So, I need to start with the first digit, which is 1, but then after I'll put 20, so uh, we'll go step by step with this, okay? So, uh, 1 is 1, okay? But here we'll, we are going to drop the S and then we'll say 21. So, 21, that would be 21. For 22, what is 2? 2. Zwei und zwanzig, so zwei und zwanzig, this the first digit, two, and then after comes twenty, which is zwanzig, and then we put this all together, uh, and then there comes und, zwei und zwanzig. So what if I say twenty-three, three, that stands for drei, drei und Drei und zwanzig. So, drei und zwanzig. So, what if I say twenty-four? Four stands for vier. Vier und zwanzig. Vier und zwanzig. So, twenty-five, what would be that? Fünf. Five. Fünf und zwanzig. Fünf und zwanzig. What if I say 26? 6, 6. Und 20. 6 und 20. For 27. 7 stands for 7. 7 und 20. 7 und 20. 28. 8, 8. 8. Und 20. 8 und 20. 29. 9. 9. 9. und 20. 9 und 20. And then comes 30. And 30 is written with 30 with SZ. So 30 that stands for 30. Please repeat after me. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, 30, 
30. Let's continue with the other numbers. 30, pay attention. Here we write this with SZ, 30. But those others will be written with ZIG. When I say 40, I'll say 40. For 50, 50. If I mention 60, then I'll say 60. The S will drop and instead they'll come 60. 60. If I say 70, then I'll say 70. There's no AN anymore, but instead 70. If I say 80, I'll say 80. 80. If I'll say 90, that it will be 90. 90. If I mention the number 100, I'll say 100 or 100. Just like in English, I'll say 100 or 100. For 1000 or 1000, same here, 1000 or 1000. 1000. 1,000. I'm sure that this comes to you familiar, right? If I'll say 10,000, that would be 10. And then I'll add 1,000. That would be then 10,000. 10,000. Now, uh, let's look at numbers which are, you know, all... Uh, that seems to be a little bit, you know, crowded and complicated, but uh, it isn't. If I say 54, I'll say 4 und 50. 4, the first digit, and then comes here the 50, I'll say 4 und 50, right? But what if I say 254, then I'll say 200, I'll start with this digit, and I'll say 200, but here, pay attention, 254. So this will be our starting point, which is 200, 254. And written, that would be 254. And it's all written together, not separated, but together. What if I, you know, go farther more to thousands? That would be then 8,254. What would I say? 8,200. Now, be careful. 54. 8,200. Here you have to watch out. 54. And written that would be 8254, which is written close together, right? Okay, let's look at another number, which is 87. That would be 87. 87. What if I say 987? That would be 987. 987 and written the written form it sounds to be it uh, seems to be a little bit confusing but it isn't you'll see 900 that's 987 7 und 80 okay so what if i say 4987 easy I'll say 4,900, watch out, 87. I'll repeat, 4,900, the first digit, 87. And in the written form, that would be 4,987. That easy. I'll repeat, 4,000. 987. Please repeat after me. 30. 30. 40. 40. 50. 
50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100, 100, 100, 100, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 10.000 54 54 254 254 8254 8254 87 87 987 987 4987 4987 Now let's see how the years are pronounced. I'm going to show you a number, but then after the year to that, so that you can compare how it is pronounced. Let's get started. If I say 1,997, let's say boxes, okay? Then I'd say, just like in English, 1,000, right? 1,987, right? 1,000. 987 okay but what if i say uh, the year 1997 right in uh, english what do i say i say 1997 right but in english uh, i mean in german what i say is 1997 okay so i need to pronounce this but then after I need to take this uh, two other digits to that and then I'll say for the first 19 I'll say 19 okay and then after for the two digits I'll say 100 okay 19 hundred sieben und 90 so 19 hundred sieben und 90 right uh, so if I mention the uh, number 1997, I'll say 1997, right? But then, if it's a year, I'll say 1997. 1997. Okay. Uh, here we have 1789. If that's, let's say, boxes, okay, that would be then 1789. 1789. What if that's the year to that? 1789. Then I would say 1789. Okay, 17, and here we have 100. 89. So if I mention the number 1789, I'll say 1789. But if I mention the year 1789, I'll say 1789. 1789. So if I mention the year 2019, but also it could be a number just a number or a year, that would be then 2019. That easy, 2019. So if you want, we can make a repeat, okay? So please repeat after me. 1997. 1997. 1997 
1997. 1789. 1789. 1789. 1789. 2019. 2019. In this video, we had the numbers and we had the years, how we spell that, how we pronounce that right. I want you to subscribe to our channel, leave comments and share this with those who want to learn German. But as we are, uh, you know, teaching from Istanbul, I want to say goodbye in Turkish, which is Hoşçakalın. See you soon. Tschüss.